Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and in today's video you're going to see me do the fastest Bible journaling I've ever done. Mostly because I want you to know that it doesn't require a lot of things, doesn't require anything but a chance to open up your Bible, read a verse, respond to it, add a little bit of creativity and just have a lot of fun. And you know what? Do it again. If you have more time, repeat, 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 right? The more time you spend in the Bible, the more time you learn and understand the Lord's truth, which is the verse that we're working on today. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I am in John chapter 8, verse 32, and this is when Jesus is talking to the Jews who believed him, and he said, If you continue in my word, you really are my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So I'm just going to take a piece of shape from the ephemera kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. And I'm just gonna write, it just says write it down. So I'm gonna just quickly write down my thoughts on this. So really what I, I wanna write is just like, Lord, I'm just gonna say, Lord, thank you for your word. Through your word, I know the truth. Okay, so that's just another chance for me to get into the Bible today. Again, this is not like mega Bible study here. This is me just, you know, spending some time, getting into the Word, having some fun while I'm doing it, thinking about what the Holy Spirit is calling on my heart to respond with. And so I just read the verse, and I'm just going to come in here and just put that down real quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on my Bible journaling today because, you know, sometimes we don't have time. Sometimes we just... You know, sometimes we think we have to have all kinds of hours or all kinds of time to do Bible journaling to open up our Bibles and read something or do a little Bible journaling. But, you know, you don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't need a lot of time. Uh, you just need maybe, you know, the short time that we're going to do this today. So I have this here that says amazing on it. It actually says his love is amazing. It's part of the stamp set that came with the new kit. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to mask off the words that says his love is. While that is awesome, that is not what I want on my tab. So I'm just gonna ink up the word amazing. And I didn't condition the stamp, so it should be, eh, it'll be all right. I'm put the word amazing on that stamp right there. Boop. Came out pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down on my paper here. So I'll just take a little bit of my tape runner here, put some tape on there. Oh, really should have used a fine little bit of glue, just would have been fine. Didn't need a big old tape runner, but yeah, I put it on there anyways. Um, then I'm gonna add my girl, as I'm just thinking about how important it is to be in the Word. Now, I get into the Word every day. It's the first thing I do when I wake up because um, I wanna start my day off right. So, first thing I do is I open up my Bible, read a devotion, uh, do some prayer, you know, prayer, and uh, just thank God for an amazing day. If it's not too hot outside, I'll go do a walk where I do a little prayer walk. Just kind of saying some prayers over my neighborhood and over the people that I love. And, uh, yeah, just eat. You don't have to spend a lot of time to get into the Word. And you know what? To be honest with you, the more frequent you're in it, the more it will change you. All right. So real simple, easy Bible journaling today with the new Illustrated Faith line. You can do a lot of things with this line, so I hope that you're enjoying these videos. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. You have a wonderful day. Goodbye!